Hey folks, Brian here, Geomagnetic Earthwatch, Tuesday, July 29, 2025. This is an earthquake report for the Kamchatka Peninsula. We have a multiple of uh, magnitude 8 earthquakes. We'll come back to this in a minute. Kamchatka. The numbers will be adjusted as they always are. We have three separate events, two magnitude 8s. 17.8 one at intermediate depth 74 kilometers and the other two are shallow we also have one off the coast of California which preceded Kamchatka these ones started first. They started a few minutes before Kamchatka. Offshore, California, 4.8 at 8 kilometers depth and a 4.3 at 10 kilometers depth. Then we had our uh, eights at uh, 1624. And then again at uh, 1630. Most shallow one is at 19 kilometers depth. Now we're gonna to go to our boys. This is a repeat occurrence of uh, the uh, July 28, 2021 event when there was a 9.5 earthquake here. So just a couple of minutes after the uh, Kamchatka earthquake, the boys from the Gulf of Alaska, this one all the way to right here off of Japan, these went off first all at the same time. This is not the result of a tsunami wave. I am not saying there is not going to be a tsunami. This is a result of the ocean floor in motion, jolt. Subsequently, southern Japan, this one, the uh, so the Philippine plate, Pacific plate, and then Philippine Sea off of the Philippines. This one, Coral Sea, and in the area of the Solomons Vanuatu region, and also this one here. No, I'm not going to click on every single one and show you. This is going to take too much time. I'm just going to pick a, a couple. So the motion of the ocean floor on some of these is approximately two meters. Now I'm going to keep on uh, refreshing, excuse me, refreshing this. So again, this is the jolt of vibration of the Pacific Plate as a result of the magnitude 8 earthquake. Because of the magnitude, the depth is uh, it's a little bit too deep, but you have to assume there will be a tsunami wave generated. So again, uh, just a couple of minutes after the earthquake started, this one here in the Gulf of Alaska, all the way down to the coast of Japan, went off at the same time. Then we had the additional ones here.
Okay, that's my uh, alert app. That is a uh, magnitude seven. It's not going to be here yet. Maybe in a couple of minutes it will. Okay, so the antipode, the opposite side of this earthquake, will be the South Sandwich Islands right here. And this is going to be the point where we're going to find out if they're truthful, truthful about the magnitude. So the antipode, the uh, seismic energy, it will lose between the magnitude 1 to a 1.5 by the time it reaches the antipode. It could be hours, it could be days. Therefore, we can expect magnitude 6.5 to 7, South Sandwich Islands. Let's go back to our boys and refresh again. So once again, folks, this one struck first. So there's two here that caught my attention earlier on because they're not on the fault line, Mendocino Ridge. 418. That would be local time. And then uh, six minutes later, Kamchatka. I'm just going to quickly check the uh, SO2 emissions. I would expect a pickup in activity, volcanic activity at the uh, volcanoes. That's going to be it for this report. So once again, all of these boys were activated not because of a tsunami wave, but because of motion or vibration of the ocean floor. So all of these boys have to be monitored and checked on a regular basis for any increase in wave height for an actual tsunami. I'll be back.